Kärleken är vacker och kraftfull som ett hav. Det är både sol och måne och livets själva nat. Den är närhet, plus och glädje. Den är fylld av hopp och tro. Den är underbart att se den kärleken som ni känner denna dag. Och ni förenas inför både släkt. Den här kärleken som ni bär ska ni vårda och bevara. För det är en gåva från ovan. Och något som alldeles särskilt att ha. Låt den vara i redstjärna genom livets alla tider. Och när ni möter motgångar ska ni ge styrka att klara av strider. Så ta hand om varandra. Låt kärleken flöda. För den finnas sig av allt. Och något som ni aldrig kan förgå. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare that, that I know, I know not, not of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Sophie Louise Cullen. Why I, Nelson Santos de Grasa, may not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Nelson Santos de Grasa. Sophie Louise Cullen. I know that love can be loud and jubilant. It can be dancing in the swampy mud and the pouring rain at a festival and shouting, you are amazing, over the band. It's laughing until you cry. It's having separate duvets to get a great night's sleep. It's traveling across America with a newborn, hoping she'll be chilled. It's moving to Ellsbury together and buying an adult-sized paddling pool. It's laying on your partner's arm to go to sleep at night and being rolled off when the arm goes dead. <laughs> it's a big, beautiful force of nature. I also know that love is a pretty quiet thing. It's lying on the sofa together, drinking wine and talking about where you're going to go that morning. To pick up a Facebook Marketplace item you found the night before. <laughs> He's adding Disney films and musicals to the list for you to watch together that weekend. It's cleaning up the house when they've left their hair bubbles and used glasses every night. <laughs> It's saying you'll get it done, it'll be okay, as they freak out they have MBA essays to get in the next day with a baby crying in the background. It's the text. Hope your day goes well. How did it go today? Shall we have chicken and sweet potato fries for dinner? <laughs> and picked up blue roll. I know that love happens under the splendor of moon and stars and fireworks and sunsets. But it also happens when you're searching for lost wallets and keys, sitting in A&E, or in the queue for national customers. Love is a quiet, reassuring, relaxing, pottering, pedantic, harmonious kind of thing. Something you can easily forget is it there, even though it, it's harm to outreach beneath you. is that you may always love, care for, and support each other throughout the joys and sorrows of life. Today, you will exchange vows of marriage which will unite you as a married couple. These vows are a promise of lifelong commitment, giving your families and friends the opportunity to meet together in celebration of your happiness and to impart their own messages of love and support to you both. You have chosen to affirm your relationship in this formal and public pledge and to offer to each other and to Amelia the security that comes from legally binding vows sincerely made and faithfully kept. And now I can assure you all that this place in which we are now met has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriage. And we are here today to witness the joining in matrimony of Nelson Santos de Grasa and Sophie Louise Pullen. So Nelson, do you promise to love, honor and respect Sophie, be her companion in life, best friend and soulmate, 
and support and care for Sophie for as long as you both shall live. I do. And Sophie, do you promise to love, honour and respect Nelson, be his companion in life, best friend and soulmate, and support and care for Nelson for as long as you both shall live? I do. Sophie, today, I give you not only my hand, but also all of my heart, but also all of my heart, my commitment and my love, my commitment, my love. Together, we will face life's challenges. Together, we will face life's challenges and celebrate its joys and celebrate its joys. I promise to listen to you. I promise to listen to you. To understand you. <laughs> to understand you. <laughs> And to communicate openly with you. And to communicate openly with you. I vow to be faithful and loyal. I vow to be faithful and loyal. And to always put our love and our relationship first. And to always put our love and relationship first. I give you my heart, my love. I give you my heart, my love. And my unwavering commitment. And my unwavering commitment. Now and forever. Now and forever. I want to start by saying I love you. I will always, always love you. I will always, always love you. And I genuinely think I loved you after the first six seconds. <laughs> and <laughs> I genuinely think I loved you after the first six seconds. Maybe minutes of knowing you. Maybe minutes of knowing you. Your dedication to me and now also Amelia your dedication to me, and now also Amelia, has been unwavering. Has been unwavering. And I promise I will continue to show my appreciation for this. And I promise I will always show my appreciation for this. And do the same back. And do the same back. I will be by your side. I will be by your side. And that constant cheerleader. And that constant cheerleader. Through both the good times and the bad. Through both the good times and the bad. You are perfect for me. You are perfect for me. And I'm not going to throw away my shot. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not going to throw away my shot. <laughs> Nelson and Sophie, you have made the declarations prescribed by law and you've made solemn and binding marriage vows with each other in the presence of your guests witnesses and the registrar of marriages you have sealed those vows with the giving and receiving of wedding rings and in addition you have given to each other a promise of a lifelong commitment so nelson and sophie it now gives me great pleasure to pronounce you husband <laughs> part of the speech where I talk about the bride, my uh, gorgeous and talented daughter Sophie. It makes me proud to think of all that Sophie has achieved in her 35 years at school and university, in her exciting career and in her sports and activities, but mainly just in being a kind, caring, loving human being who has enriched the lives of all of those who know her and love her. Today I made a lifelong promise to Sophie but I would also like to take this opportunity to make a lifelong promise to you guys. I promise you guys that I will always be a shoulder for Sophie to cry on. I promise you guys that I will always treat Sophie with respect and dignity. 
I promise to be Sophie's biggest supporter in whatever she takes on. Whether it's picking up couches <laughs> or buggies <laughs> from Aylesbury. <laughs> Lastly, and this is a promise to myself, Sal, I will always ask for a second plate during Sunday roast. Pump those biceps! Pump those biceps! Don't talk to me! Don't talk to me! Pump those biceps! Pump those biceps!